Hello everyone, welcome back to the Apex Motorsport and to Paddock Talk for what is the final time here at Donington for the 2021 British GT Championship. We just had one of the best races of the season, uh, but instead of talking about random racing we usually do, we're going to first look, have a look at the GT4 champions, who are of course the number 57 Century Motorsport team, and behind them, parked, is the GT3 champions, Briarwell Motorsport, who eventually won the title today. It was a close battle between them and the number six Ram Racing, who are just behind me. Um, the, re the race ended prematurely with a red flag. I'm sure they'll be slightly disappointed uh, for Ram, Ram Racing not to go on to win the title. They were very close, they were within about one second of potentially winning the title, so it was so close. And if they had won the race, they would have won the championship by a single point because it was Barwell who finished in fourth place, which was all they needed. Now we're going to move a little bit further down the paddock. We are in the actual paddock, not the pit lane today, uh, because as you can probably hear in the background, there is still racing going on. Uh, but we're all now talking about the number six Ram racing entry of Ian Loggy and Yelma Berman, so close to win the championship. You could say Yelma Berman, the last couple of laps, it was a flying Dutchman. They were rapid. It was the number 77 German motorsport car that eventually won the race. But Ram, they were so close. I said they're by a second off winning the race and winning the championship and I'm sure they've got it. We just seen in the, the paddock after and you can see him like here being interviewed as well. I'm sure they are absolutely got it. They had the pace, they could they, they almost won the title and I'm sure they look back and really missed chances early in the season possibly um, but for them it is gotting but for Barwell I'm sure I'm sure they're super happy they've won both the Teams and Drivers Championship, but they're down the far end of the paddock. We'll get them in a minute as the plane goes ahead above us from East Midlands Airport. Uh, Fox Motorsport to number 40. Uh, yes, they, they, they qualified dead last, but they managed to get up to fourth and they won the Pro-Am class in the GT4 Championship, which, oh, not the Championship, for the race, sorry. Uh, they'll be quite happy with that. It was a pretty impressed race then, a quiet one. We didn't see them do too much, but they just... They dug in and they eventually well, won their class with a fourth overall finish. Uh, then move on to the Balfe Motorsport team, the team that has both a GT3 and GT4 entry. Um, uh, this time we've got no cars to point that, um, but it's the num number five of Stuart Proctor and Lewis Proctor who uh, qualified in 11th and finished the race in ninth place, which meant they finished second in the Silver Arm class. And you see the, the, both of them are McLaren customer racing cars in the GT4 entry. Uh, the number 90 of Jack Brown and Ashley Marshall finishing 8th after qualifying in 10th. Our next team then is one of the title contenders. It's the number 7 beasting AMR of Andrew Howard and Johnny Adam. Only Andrew Howard could have won the title and they needed a lot of luck but unfortunately they didn't have that. They started 9th, they finished in 8th and it wasn't enough for them to seal the championship. We move on to, I think, one of my favourite trucks was rather boss uh, in, the, in the paddock. It is the Colin White racing, the CWS racing, the number 78, Colin White and Mike Simpson. So it's the first British GT star for Colin White since 2014. They qualified in 13th and finished in 11th place. Then we're going to move on to, further on down to the, all the they had a Janetta. Another team had a Janetta was the number 56, and Mark Sansom, Charlie Robertson. And in fact, if I remember correctly, the two Janetta cars had a bit of a collision. They spun the 56 car round. They uh, started in 11th and finished in 9th place. Then move on to the race winners. Well, actually, no, race winners, this is their truck here. Uh, Enduro Motorsport number 77, and Morgan Tilbrook and Marcus Clutton qualified in the front row in second place, but they go on to win the race. I think it's the first of the season. I said yesterday, they're, they're underdogs. They're one of the most under, you know, the team that has performed beyond expectations for them this season and for them to eventually get this race win shows the hard work has really paid off. Then we have the number 15 of the Toyota Gazoo Racing UK entry as the Supra of John Ferguson and Jamie Caroline. Jamie Caroline, the 2020 GT4 champion, returned to replace Scott McKenna this weekend. Uh, they qualified in, in fifth place, but they didn't finish the race. But sure to take comfort in the fact that they have by far the best music in the paddock. They played some absolute tunes over the weekend. They had the Proclaimers, they had a bit of Elton John, they had a bit of everything. It was brilliant. Now we have the number 18, the WPA Motorsport entry of Michael Igo and Phil Keane. Pole position for them, but uh, a few difficult first laps. 
the, the struggle of the race, they were lapped down one point. They finished in 12th. Did have a 20 second success penalty, which didn't help. Um, but I think for them, they were in the championship battle, but very early on, they knew that wasn't going to be possible. But they were definitely causing a bit of nuisance uh, on the track, trying to you know, block a few people, try to mix up the championship a bit more. But fortunately for them, it wasn't enough. Then we have the contingent of Team Rocket RGN entries, all four of them this weekend, all in, well, one GT3 and three in GT4. Their number 21 was a GT3 entry of Mia Fluid and Ewan Hackney. Uh, they qualified and they finished in seventh place uh, for one off entry. It was one off, the, they're not a full season entry. Uh, I think they'll be pretty happy with that. Their number two of James Kell and Jordan Collard qualified in eighth, finished out in tenth. Alan Fallent and Michael Benyea qualified in second and finished in second, so I think they'll be happy with a podium there. And the number four of Harry Hayek and Katie Mulner qualified in twelfth and finished in seventh place. Now we move on to the Porsche entry, the number 66 Team Parker Racing of Scott Mulvern and Nick Jones qualified in seventh place. Uh, and finish the race in sixth place. So I think for them, they will be quite happy with that. And then we have the Century Motorsport, the GT4 champions. Uh, they had a an Aston Martin uh, this week for number 71. Uh, they, uh, they're the GT Cup front runners. They entered the British GT this weekend uh, and had an okay, an okay day. But then the number nine, of Chris Salkett and Andrew Go Gordon Colbrook. They actually started for the pit lane and they put on the slick tyres at the very start. Risky manoeuvre, they did struggle the first few laps, but uh, I think they, they didn't finish the race, uh, but they had some pace once the track started to dry up. And then the GT4 champions at Walburns and, Ger and Gus Burton, uh, they qualified in fourth and managed to get themselves on the podium in third. Uh, then the number 84 entry further on down of, uh, of Tolman, uh, they qualified last in the GT3 class and finished 11th, so I think they'd be happy with that. Just move out of the way of this and we'll show you the Academy Motorsport, the winners of the GT4 class. It is the Mustang. It's not this one, this is 62 that I keep going on about. It's just random car in the paddock. They're, the car they have entered the race is the number 61. They qualified third and finished in first place, but this car is, is stunning. It's a lovely car and um, for them, to, I think that's their second one of the season. Uh, they will be happy with that. Uh, we'll move a little bit further down with a bit of a walk now to get down to the team ABBA racing. Uh, the number eight entry, uh, the following son duo of Richard and Sam Neary, uh, qualified in third, finished in third, but they came first in the silver ramp, and for most part of the race, they were actually leading. And they found themselves so in the way of the championship battle with the ram racing number six was was trying to catch up to Enduro Motorsport and the team Abba went off a little bit onto the gravel, uh, handed back the place and it created some intriguing laps for the, the second half of the race. Uh, we move down to Stellar Motorsport now, the pole setters in the GT4 class. But unfortunately they didn't finish actually where I was standing down by the S's. They crashed late on. We thought it was going to bring our late safety car. It was just a yellow flag and green flag past the sector. But it started sort of the chaos of the last few laps and seeing multiple cars pull into the side of the track, crash off and eventually bring out the red flag. Then we go to the Paddock Motorsport. As well, you can see Stellar Motorsport have the marquee here this weekend. A nice car sitting there as well. And then the Paddock Motorsport here have this incredible motorhome. It's one of only a few I think I've ever seen um, in, in the British GT paddock, it is the number 11 entry of Kelvin Fletcher and Martin Plowman. Uh, qualifying 10th, finished 10th, uh, and about an hour five minutes in, Kelvin Fletcher showed us his Strictly Come Dancing moves by deciding to spin the car. He did one of the couple years ago. It says on the stat that he's the only driver in the paddock to have won a glitter ball. I think that's about true, unless any other drivers are hiding that from us. And then we move on to our final team of the episode. It is Barwell Motorsport, the teams and the drivers champion. I must say actually that the number six Ram Racing actually won the Pro-Am Championship, which is the same class that the Barwell 63 and many other teams entered. For them, uh, the way the points work, when teams in the silver class drop out uh, the points, and I meant the number six won. But it's Barwell who won uh, both championships. Uh, Liam Chester Dennis Lynn, the British uh, GT champions for 2021. It was close. It was. It went down. It was going to go down to the final few laps, and it did before the red flag came out with a minute to go to seal victory.
for them. But I think it's been a fantastic season. It was a fantastic way to end. It was a fantastic race. And who knows, could the Ram have, have closed in and t- overtaken in German motorsport for the victory uh, come the last lap of the race? It's very possible. Now anyway, that's going to bring this episode of Paddock Talk to an end and the conclusion of the 2021 British GT Championship. Just like I say a big thank you to everyone who's watched the series so far and who knows where we will be next. Um, but if you see one of the champions just about to walk past, uh, Liam Machisky, uh it's, br- it's brilliant for Barwell to clean back-to-back titles, but uh, f- for them to win both the teams and the drivers in well, in the la- when going down the last few seconds, it was a real down from the cider. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching and we hope you shall join us the next time somewhere in the Northern Motorsport Paddock. Goodbye.